Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I'm going to uh, do a lipstick declutter. I filmed this, I've been off for over two weeks and I filmed this the day before I took off to help with childcare while my daughter did theater camp and that is done now so I'm back and it's good to be back. But uh, I didn't get a chance while I was doing that to edit it so um, I just refilmed, I'm refilming my introduction and then I'm, you know, editing that video today. It's Sunday, we're having several extra people over for Sunday dinner, so I'm going to keep this very quick. But it's kind of haphazard because I just didn't, I had never done a declutter and so I did not know exactly how to do it. So I just tried on some different things, showed some things that I was getting rid of and, and tried to tell why I was getting rid of them and um, so that's it. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Today I'm doing a video about a lipstick declutter that I did. Uh, I didn't have a ton of lipsticks. I mean, I had a, I had more than I needed, but uh, you know, it wasn't overrun terribly. But I got this new, um, got this off Amazon, and it it turns. It's a lipstick holder, and I thought, well, this will be a good time before I transfer everything over to go through everything. So I started going through my lipsticks and I had more than I thought I did, <laughs> but some of them were old and melted or had gone off, so those got thrown away. The rest of them uh, just, just didn't work for me or I had something I liked better and I didn't see any sense in keeping doubles, so. But the others I'm, I'm donating. Uh, I can't donate to the women's shelter here because they want new untouched products. But what I do is I wipe everything down and then use alcohol in it and then wipe everything out down again inside the cap and everything too. My daughter is a dancer, takes dance lessons and also teaches for a dance studio that uh, does very, very well uh, in producing dancers. They have uh, girls that go to, and boys, that go to governor's school and to um, dance with bigger dance companies and get dance scholarships and so some of them have to uh, work to pay for their dance lessons so they don't have a lot of money left over for makeup and they have to use makeup you know when they're on stage and when they're performing or when they're competing so uh, what I do is I clean everything off and sterilize it and then I take it down to the studio and there's about like 75 girls that go through everything. So that's lots of fun and it really helps them a whole lot. So that's what I donate my, my makeup that I don't use anymore. Well, I can't except for like mascaras and uh, lip glosses, you know, things like that that get dipped back in. I can't do that. Things that you can't sterilize. So anyway, <laughs> that's a long story of what I do with my lipsticks, but I just didn't want people to think I just throw it away. Because I don't, I want somebody else to be able to use them just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for someone else. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go through some of the ones that I didn't want anymore because I am going to try on some of the ones that I am keeping. I'm got, getting rid of four MAC lipsticks. Uh, let's see, I'm getting rid of Japanese Maple. And they're just, you know, some of them just aren't, they aren't right. They'll be ever like too much my skin color or too brown or, uh, you know, just just not quite right for me. Or I found some that I like better. Or like the uh, in the instance of the MAC Hue, which is H-U-E, it's just too sheer. Some of the MAC lipsticks are too sheer that I'm, uh, you know, getting rid of. And, uh, or the, I don't know, just they're just not right for me. So... You know, there's no sense in keeping them. I'm actually getting rid of two from Three Custom Color that are real old, and two from Chanel that are real old. That's a pretty color too, but they don't even make it anymore. It's, let's see, Chanel, it's uh, 90. Not pretty, but it's just, this one's a little off, so I thought, well, I better get rid of that. There's an old Mary Kay Dusty Rose. I used to wear that all the time. It was a pretty color, but uh, they don't make it anymore either, and it's old. Barista, I got one Barista. This might as well start wiping things off. Barista that uh, this is from Lorac. It's just too much like concealer. So getting rid of that, and another one from ColourPop. Fit. Same thing. I see this one is skimpy from ColourPop. 
those two just two concealer-ish okay and then you know a few others it just a Milani one and a couple of Maybelline ones and let's see a Lancome one that I got you know with the gift with purchase that it's pretty and everything but it's got it's just too sheer also and then Kate 113 it's another one like it's kind of like concealer and then I've got these reds that I'm getting rid of that a couple of Maybellines and then some of the little tiny ones like the Makeup Forever that I've gotten like for the oh you know when you check out or with your birthday and stuff that they just weren't quite the right red for me I have found that oh and several of these are deep burgundy and I just I just don't like burgundy on myself anymore I used to wear it sometime at Christmas time but if I'm gonna wear a deep color like at Christmas time it's gonna be a red uh, and so some of these reds are too uh, burgundy or a wine color that I just didn't care for as much anymore and then some of them are the wrong shade of red that I have a better shade of red that I like so I usually wear like a, a nude uh, like a pinky peach nude uh, a pink an orange uh, those type of colors and a red that sort of usually leans more toward an orangey red but I did keep one blue red that is just a classic and I had to keep it so let me talk about some of the ones that I am keeping poison nectar by buxom my favorite just a real pretty peachy pink beautiful I love this lipstick Tom Ford lipsticks uh, for the longest time um, the nude vanilla was my favorite. I just loved it. It was one of those that I would wear with the white Russian lip gloss and the lip liner from Laura Mercier, but uh, they discontinued it. So I have one left and I've been saving it. I've got that much left. I thought, well, I need to go ahead and wear it, but I just loved it a lot. It's just so pretty, but uh, I found just the best dupe. I, I did a whole video of dupes, but this is the one that I found recently that is the best and it is the Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury. So I do it the same way. I put the lip gloss on top of it and line it with the armor with the plumberry. So uh, like that, and I am going to go ahead and use my nude vanilla because you might as well use it up. And then some other favorites I have gotten from friends and bought during sales and stuff. And that is the Tom Ford Spanish Pink. I guess they still make it, too. The, the Spanish Pink is a lot like the Bucks and Poison Nectar. But it's just, uh, it's just gorgeous. Really. Really pretty lipstick. And Tom Ford lipsticks are so nice and the price tag reflects it. So that, uh, the... Uh, the Spanish pink, yeah, just another favorite. So the two, um, two more that I'm keeping are the ones from the uh, collab with Lisa Lisa D1 and um, Christian Christian Audet. And the first one is uh, Summer Nights. The other one is Golden Tiger. Those are just beautiful. So definitely keeping those. Uh, the next one that I'm keeping is Peach Buff from Maybelline. Ooh, I like it. It is a pretty color. It is a really, really pretty color. It is matte, but, but it doesn't dry out. It doesn't dry out your lips. It's very creamy. This is a fine, fine lipstick. 540 Peach Buff by Maybelline. Feels really good, just um, just really feels nice. You could use it with or without a, a gloss and I just, that feels really good. But it isn't too sheer like some of the lighter ones can be. I, I like a lighter lipstick as long as it isn't too sheer because when it's too sheer it's like nothing's on my lips and I keep having to rub and rub and rub. But something like this, uh, you know, it just goes on with one quick swap, one quick swipe. Okay, this next one is Kate 08. Oh my goodness, by Rimmel, great color. I can always remember it because it reminds 08 Kate. 
Ah, oh, it's a pretty lipstick. Boy, I like that lipstick. Boy, yeah, I like that a lot. Very nice, Kate Await. Okay, and the next one that I'm keeping is Cover Girl Honey Bloom, which is right there, real pretty pink color. And keeping, let's see, this is Revlon Pink in the Afternoon. Oh, I gotta try this one on. Uh, my friend Karen told me that she was in a Revlon uh, message board and she mentioned this and Revlon said that it was the one that Audrey Hepburn had worn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. And then I heard that it wasn't and then I heard it was, so I, I, I don't know, but it's a beautiful color. It's very much like the one that she wore at Breakfast in Tiffany's, and it has been around for a long time. And it's called Pink in the Afternoon. Some of these Revlon lipsticks are just classics. They're just classic colors. Beautiful, beautiful lipstick. They can feel a little bit like Audrey. Uh, the next one is another nice one from Maybelline. It is Honey Pink. really pretty so it's got a little more peach in it but another one of those it's very comfortable doesn't feel drying but looks uh, you know it's not very sheer really nice yeah I like this lipstick a lot this is so nice for me to be able to get rid of the ones that I know I'm not gonna wear that were hiding the ones that I do like okay here's a couple of Max so we've got MAC uh, Reverence. Ooh, I like this color too. Beautiful pink. A little touch of peach. <laughs> I had to save this one, and it is not like me at all. It's just not anything to like what I wear, but for some reason, I just like it and I have to save it. I don't ever wear it, but just in case I want, I'm gonna keep it a little bit longer just in case. And it is Snob by MAC and it is just you know it's just one of those bright bubblegum pinks those blue pinks that are bright and, and I don't know I just kind of like snob so I'm keeping it okay the next one is oh I like this a lot too and I keep this one in my purse because it's so easy it is from a mineral fusion I uh, got it from a friend of mine and it's just really beautiful now it says on there it's mineral fusion it says under its shimmer so uh Sheer Moisture Lip Tint. Oh, it's so pretty. It's that right there. But it's just one of those, it's just really good because you don't need a liner. So that one stays in my purse, I love it. I've used the heck out of it. This next one is a really, really pretty one that uh, I got, I guess I got it, I got it a little bit ago, but it's still good, going strong. So uh, I'm gonna keep it, it's, it's Rose by Autograph and it's Rose Lace. Beautiful, beautiful color. Let me put that one on. Although I like this one that I've got on right now. The honey pink. Mm -mm. That's going to be my favorite for a while. That honey pink I think is going to take over Poison Nectar. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, let me put on this one, the rose lace. But it's rosy. The autograph. It's an actress, Rosie Watley or... I can't remember her name. But that's a really pretty one, too. I think this is still available, too. I like that one a lot. So I want to make sure that I wear it because it's really beautiful. Oh, this one I got. This one's really pretty, too. It is from NARS, and I got that from my birthday from Kristen. It's beautiful. It's Anita. Really pretty. I love that. Love this color. I'm going to go into some reds. I think that's about all that I'm keeping of the neutrals and the pinks and the peaches. I filmed this earlier and I had forgotten to turn on my camera, so I've got, I've got red where I, I tried on and wiped off the red. I love this. This was given to me by a friend. It's Buxom Lost Paragraph Paradise, and I always get so many um, compliments when I wear it. Beautiful color. Lost Paradise by Buxom. And these will set quickly. 
anyway, so I am going to go ahead and remove them pretty quickly. <laughs> it gets around my mouth. I noticed at the end of the other video when I was trying, I had it all smeared around my mouth. Now, the next one, I won't put it on my lips. I'll just show you, but I love this. This is Berlin by Kat Von D. Isn't that pretty? Really, it's real pretty on too, but it's just, it's kind of hard to get off. Next one is from a friend of mine, and it is just a classic red gloss. It is from Mineral Fusion, and it is, uh, the color is Scarlet Vermilion. This is beautiful by itself or uh, over another red lipstick. So the next lipstick is just a beautiful, classic, gorgeous red, and it's from NARS. And my niece told me about it. Uh, she just, she wears just her hair just real, she's got this real thick blonde hair. So she just wears it kind of wavy, you know, real mermaid looking. And she'll just use a little mascara and then use this lipstick. And I just love it. It's beautiful. It's NARS Heat Wave. I love this lipstick. It's got a little bit of a warm orange to it. Just really, really gorgeous. Love this lipstick, NARS Heat Wave. The nicest lipsticks, they just make wonderful lipsticks, are by Besame, and they make classic lipsticks through the decades. You know, they'll make some from the 40s or the 30s or even the 20s. I can't remember what decade this is from, but it's just the most beautiful red and it is red hot red gorgeous red oh. it is just beautiful it's it's on the warm side too but not quite as much orange as the the nars one but it's just so pretty really feels good too these are these are nice besame makes really really nice lipsticks you can't go raw really with any of them Okay, it's really smearing bad, but I just want to get through a couple of more. A classic, it's a blue red, uh, but I don't care. I usually don't wear blue red, but it's just, oh, it's beautiful, especially like at Christmas time. Another classic from Revlon that's been around for a while, Cherries in the Snow by Revlon. I love this lipstick. It's so, so pretty. Looks so nice at Christmas time, too. Well, anytime really. It's just a beautiful lipstick. The last one is one I heard about from Tammy, and I'll link her channel below. Uh, and it is from Laura Mercier, and it's Coral VIFO. Oh, it is just a beautiful shade. Another one of those that has a lot of orange in it. It's just stunning. I love this color, and it looks really, really pretty also over the poison, the Buxom Poison Nectar to kind of deepen it up a little bit. It's just, it's just a gorgeous shade. I think that is it. I think those are, they're, I think I've hit most of the ones that I'm keeping. Just, I've really, really cut it down. Uh, I found as I've gotten older, just don't need as many lipsticks as I used to when I was younger, and especially when I was first starting YouTube. I, I think I bought a whole bunch of lipsticks and just kind of trying to pare everything down over the years. and. I, I like it. I have found some new ones like this Cherries in the Snow. Boy, I like it. I didn't think, um, I didn't remember liking it this much. But uh, there's so many of them that I have discovered again since I've kind of gone through everything. And uh, so it's just like discovering new lipsticks and I'm excited to wear them. And, but anyway, so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.